This was the first monument that aid to the church in need lit up in red, Christ the Redeemer in Rio de Janeiro. It was illuminated in 2015 to denounce Christian persecution. The idea turned into a viral phenomenon when 2,100 places from different countries were showcased in red, from New York all the way to Budapest. The lighting of the buildings red is, is a memory, is a reminder for the people that Christian persecution is still going on today. In Mark von Redemann is the director of the Public Affairs and Religious Freedom Department of Aid to the Church in Need. Today, one out of seven Christians live in persecuted areas or lands with hostility towards them. Lighting these monuments in red sends a message to those who are suffering and hiding around the world. When they're suffering this persecution in Syria, in Iraq, in Nigeria, in Sri Lanka, we know the Easter bombings, that they know they're not alone, that they know that we in the West, we are also paying attention to this topic and that we're calling attention to it so that their suffering is not in silence. In the past years, many symbolic places have been lit in red thanks to aid to the church in need. This includes the Colosseum in Rome, this Venetian Basilica, and the Parliament of England. It's a method to call attention to the persecution and try to end hate. Genocide arrives because there's first intolerance, then there's discrimination, then there's persecution, and then there's genocide. And we are seeing this in various stages all around the world. So the question for us is, let's talk now before we get to genocide. The success of their initiative shows there's a greater awareness of Christian persecution than previously realized. However, as long as Christian discrimination continues, monuments will be illuminated in red. Next year, Aid to the Church in Need will light up thousands of places around the world again as tribute to those who are persecuted for believing in Jesus.